Well, 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 hello everyone. Welcome back to CDDA. So last time we drove from Moldra to a tiny military compound near Rosewood, which is where we're at right now. So I'm delaying the inevitable and deciding what the best plan of action is to go into Rosewood. You might be wondering about my friends here. You probably know David. He's pretty quiet. And here's Stilts. She's new here, so she's feeling pretty shy. So with that, buckle up everyone and I'm gonna tell you what's happened over the past few days. So the day after we arrived, we started going through the military compound houses here. It was still foggy and there were a lot of trees, so it was hard to see the zombies. And I was getting pretty spooked. Okay, I just saw three trees move. At the same time. I think they broke that door. Yeah, door's gone. So where are they? So here's one. I know there's more than one, so... Got a window break. There's one over here. And I had some things to say about the fog. This fog is truly awful. Let me check that house. Let's check this one that... The zombie busted out of. I think I hear a zombie. Yeah, there you are. And with the zombies taken care of, I started looting. Didn't any of you people have any food in your lives? There was literally nothing besides a few scraps of food, some utensils, so after all that I started dismantling everything that I possibly could for carpentry XP. And yes, I also picked up all the nails. I wrapped up dismantling these houses with the last one, and here you can see my skills so far. I think we've made pretty good progress for this run. I was excited to go home and make pancakes with the pancake mix I found. But then I discovered you need a utensil now, so I had to run back to this house and grab a spoon. Then I ran all the way back. Still excited about my pancakes. Successfully made pancakes. Then I threw them on the fire. No pan necessary. They say a watch pot doesn't boil, but a watched pancake apparently cooks pretty fast. Although there is something to be said about cooking these in the microwave in Zomboid. Okay, maybe they don't cook as fast as I thought. I'm running out of things to say. I just want to eat my pancakes! Hot and ready. Stuck these in my face. Delicious. Delicious again. Alright, so here's the plan. We have a base right here. And we've been through all these houses right here, so we'll mark them off. And we're gonna go through the area and go to these individual houses one by one to look for loot. Our first stop will be this farmhouse over here. We're gonna go look at the houses over here. There shouldn't be too many zombies. It's a pretty low pop area. Like, really low, but there might be some. I don't know, CDDA spawns have been weird for me. Okay, here's a barn, I think. Don't think we're gonna find much in here.
There's rooms back here. Hello. Fertilizer and leaf rakes. Okay, whatever. And a uh, sink? Cool. I haven't seen that before. And I think the farmhouse is this way. I think I went too far. Oh, look at that gate! Does it open? No. It's not even a, a gate gate. At least right now. And let's check the perimeter. I'm not seeing a single zombie, which is very weird. Some sort of tree house. That's cool. I don't think you can climb the ladder though. Nope. That was a cute little house. The run on through. Right, no one's downstairs. That's another Molotov right there. Some more canned food, that's good. Empty kettle, rotten cherry. This would be a cute house to live in if it wasn't so remote. Hi, Branch. Empty closet. No, I don't want the pencil. Drop it. Alright, downstairs is a bus. Let's check the upstairs. Duck, comb, and a bandage. We got those. An office. Another fanny pack. We'll put that one on the back. Okay, so we'll keep like medicines in the back and our cigarettes I guess that's medicinal for our mind and beds are great carpentry XP so goodbye bed We have one more room. Oh, we got a little bit of food. Oh, there's another closet. A rope. That's it. Well, it was better than nothing, I guess. We got a little bit of food and we got the fanny pack. Okay, so now we're heading to stop two, which is these two houses over here. seeing any but I see a car. I'll check that out. Probably stay in this house tonight.
Oh, I hear someone. Found him. This house is good for tonight. We'll stay here. And that was pretty much it here. We found bandages. Fishing volume one. I dumped the dead guy outside. Then I read fishing until bedtime. And I crashed on the couch right here. And then we woke up and did it all again the next day. Duct tape is useful. The rest of this is a wreck, but I'm gonna... Take all the stuff I can. We're actually really making good progress on mechanics so far, so... Here's to one more car torn apart. Whoa, hi! Did not hear you bust out. Anyone else? I don't hear more in there. Check the whole perimeter. Okay. Got a cute little gazebo. Anyone else in here? Okay, that's clear. Let's shut the door and the window. We found some pretty good food resources here, like a thing of cereal and some beans. And I also took this pot. And then I dismantled everything that I possibly could. And I mean everything. And then I found a new friend for David. Which one will I take? I like this one. Can't take all of you, I'm sorry. We still had a lot of daylight left in the day, so we headed over to stop number three. And the spooky fog was definitely back. Very thick fog. Ooh, mailboxes. Damn. You zombie. Any more of you are there? A couple more. Ooh, what do you got in your back? Probably a butter knife, knowing my luck. It might be a hunting knife. Ooh, that was toasty. What is up with my aim right now? Dang. It was almost the end of my run. It is a hunting knife. I'm not gonna forage in this fog right now, it's too dangerous. You were the zombie and all the wolves howling when I said that.
There are some trailers. I'm pretty quiet, actually. Shockingly. There's one in there. Let's check this trailer. Two in here. While they break out, let's go take care of this one. Cop zombie. There's alarms, so we'll have to be careful. Right, he's down. Let's check the rest of the trailer. Nope. We good. That is soap. No food. Red, and that's it. Let's check the other trailers. Cases. That's a good sign. Trapping, foraging, first aid. Doesn't say it's bad, so don't have a frying pan actually. Alright, that is all the cabinets checked. Rotten stew. Symbol this bed. Take those nails. Next sweater. This one, let's go to the other trailer now. See dead bodies. If you're gonna get back up on me, looks like it was a double whammy. Gotta be careful what I say. With the trailers inspected, we headed off to stop number four. Alright, that's all the stuff here. Let's go check it out over here. Looks pretty empty, actually. That was promising. Check out the open ones first. A few actually. Two. Mm. 
Alright, I saw one more, so let's do a run. Get the retention. There might not be very many zombies right now, but even one can end your entire run. He's stuck on that window. Probably just gonna be farming supplies in here. But that's good because we can probably find seeds, maybe. What do we got? Tools. But I'm pretty full and I have a lot of weapons. Garden saw. Not bad. I see a car. Car wreck. With a trailer. Ooh. Let's run in. Get attention. Okay, too much attention. I could, you can take it back now. There's one more in here on the window. Clear. Clear here. What do we got? Nothing. Leaf rake. Five star powder. Cabbage seeds. Good. That's actually really good. We'll need that. Garden saw, wrench, light bulb. Alright, we're gonna rip this stuff out of this car. I think I see the key on the ground. Yeah. After thoroughly destroying both these vehicles, I went over to the last building. It seemed a little suspiciously quiet compared to the last two, so I was really cautious. No one here. Empty. What do I want? What do we got? Seats. That's it. What was in here? Nothing. Oh, we found some seeds. That's good. We're gonna head back to a trailer and call it a night. Preferably a trailer didn't have a window busted out like this one. We got the bodies in here, let me get rid of them real fast. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Drop you on the ground. Oh, I forgot, I have the uh, body moving mod. Grab dump corpse control, we'll pick him up. Less clicks to dump him outside. There you go, together forever. And I passed the night by reading more books. I fell asleep in a chair. Woke up the next morning and I dismantled everything again. And then we head on home. It wasn't a total loss. We did find the fanny pack, the cereal, and quite a bit of food. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to get us through a few days. And of course it was another foggy day to head home. It was so foggy I could barely see what was in front of me. And I was still foraging because, you know, me, I like to take dumb risks. And then I actually found some berries, which I learned that winter berries... Um... That is, the berries in the season of winter. The only ones that are poisonous are holly berries. 
But I personally haven't done a lot of debug testing on that yet, so don't take my word on it. So we got home and dropped off all of our crap onto the floor. Then I introduced David to the newest member of our family, Stilts. I think she'll fit in nicely around here. She's quiet too. Welcome home, Stilts, to your new family. Then I made a celebratory beans and mushroom soup. Made a salad with the winter berries I found. We were actually starting to gain weight. It was much needed. And so I can't put off the inevitable much longer. We'll need to head off to Rosewood soon. But there's still a couple more things to wrap up here. We gotta organize our stuff and pare things down to the essentials. We have a couple more houses to visit. And I believe that's it so far. Enjoy our nice bean and mushroom soup here real fast. Some of the best food we've had in a long time. Just drink it out of the pot cinder. There's no need for formalities in front of Stilts and David. It's just the three of us now. And so I spent the rest of the evening and part of the next day doing a lot of organizing around here. We have a permanent mini base nearby, so I don't feel so bad leaving a lot of this stuff behind. I wanted to have a place close to Rosewood where I could retreat to if things got too bad when I go there. And we use the easy corpse move mod to clean up the bodies around here. As you can see, it's what it says on the tin. Easy corpse move. Less clicking. I know a lot of you want me to do different things, but this is the way I want to do it. And just dump them in the hole. Problem solved. And so I reduced most of our belongings down to the absolute bare essentials, weapons, tools. Most of these things would be left behind and I divided things into separate bags. And then it was time for a dance break. Because Cinder is slowly losing her mind. She has a pet flamingo and a, a gnome companion. And she's about to find out that all of her co-workers, her friends, are dead. And we can see her slow descent into madness unfold right before our very eyes. Wait a second. Where's Stilts? She's just gone. My flamingo! What happened to the flamingo named Stilts? Is this a figment of Cinder's imagination, or did she up and hop away? Find out next time on Genuine Toad CDDA Project Zomboid Super Mega Challenge. Thank you for watching, everyone. This is Genuine Toad. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, I'm happy to have you here. I bet you thought I forgot, didn't you?